Oh, got it in the first shot this time. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Stephanie. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I make videos on lifestyle, food, music, original songs, covers, uh, travel videos, fashion videos, the whole thing. So uh, if you're new here, hit the like button and the subscribe button if you like this video, which you probably will because I'm quite the entertaining person I so would like to believe. And uh, today, we are having our last empties videos of the year because I'm going to end the year not here, either in a foreign city that we might know the name of or I'm going to go to Manhattan so we're going to film some empties and slash or some things that are almost empty so let's just get right into it as I wear my new Francesca's free spirited sweater and realize I've done a very good job of maintaining my goal of saying I'm going to grow my hair long so without all that other fluff let's get into it I don't have that much here but I still was like yeah let's let's share it right so I have two eye creams here question number one you may have is why are you 22 and using eye creams the question I have for you is why are you 22 and not using eye creams uh even if you're not really worried about wrinkles yet they're really luxurious and they make you feel like you have a better skincare routine than you actually do so this one is actually still got some stuff left in it but it's almost there so we're just gonna include it in this video i bought this in february because in the winter time like i wasn't using eye cream and i was like in between eye creams or something because usually sephora gives me like the free little trial ones and i'm like well i'm just gonna use this because it's free uh but i was dying driving back from college park and i was like i need eye cream so i went into cvs and i bought this and i was like olay's on tv all of the time so they must be somewhat good so i bought this olay eyes deep hydrating eye gel this is a lot like that neutrogena blue hydro moisturizer stuff i don't remember the name of it but it's very similar to that it's lightweight this is a really good like summertime eye cream it doesn't mix well with sunscreens so though you can't put this on and then put like the white sunscreen from neutrogena that i show all the time you can't mix the two because it'll like dismerse all over your face it's a weird thing but for the nighttime for summer when you don't want something too heavy it's hyaluronic acid so it's the same concept like it seeps into your skin it plumps it up moisturizes all the good stuff i would rebuy this guy this one was good for this guy this guy's famous and he did not live up to my expectations it's the clinique all about eyes rich just rich it has no other name this was from sephora clinique i love clinique's dramatic differizing moisturizing gel i show all the time i've used it for almost six years now. So I'm a hardcore Clinique fan in that way that I trust them to make a product that I like. This was very overrated. Um, I bought this in April and it's now November, so it lasts a long, long time, months on end, right? But the consistency of it, like the product, what's left in the jar, I know you can't see it, but it's almost like it's settled. Like it wasn't like a cream, it dried into like a paste. And you were putting like the paste on your eye and the pa in the paste like you'd have to smooth it out but that defeats the whole purpose because when you're using eye cream you don't want to tug on your eye so or eyes you don't have one eye you have two of them um this was okay this this olay one was 33 percent cheaper than this one and i'd rather buy this one again than this one so it's like <laughs> but so yeah i wouldn't rebuy this one but it was it got the job done. It felt great on my eyes. Did it reduce my dark circles? No. Did it reduce puffiness? No. Did I use it? Yeah. Would I rebuy it? No. This is two years expired and it's been sitting on my dresser for the longest time. I have this whole other collection, the oil-free acne stress control triple action toner. And I was like, I got to finish this stuff. So it's the same stuff that's in the power scrub and the wash that I use. It's 2% salicylic acid. It smells like cucumber, whole thing. This stuff's great. I don't think I'd buy it because I use the other products, but it's great. Hardcore fan of Neutrogena, as we all know. And speaking of Neutrogena, I have the wash right here for you to see if the camera or God would love me and let things focus. But you know it doesn't. We have to do things manually in life. <laughs> so like I said, I use this wash all the time and using it for years. Let's pretend that there's not mold on the cover on the surrounding encompass can thing of this too uh but love this cucumber keeps acne away holy grail item right here i've got two things of dove one we've got what probably is the three billionth bottle of my dove intensive repair conditioner this is what's in my hair today what i use to condition with my hair use it all of the time 
I buy it by legitimately fluid ounces at a time. That's a stupid comparison to everything we measure here in the United States is in fluid ounces. But I constantly use it. I have very fine but tangly curly hair and I love it. And then I had I had I had uh, I had this forever because I don't wash my hair very often. I wash my hair like once a week. It's really probably bad, but it's also like good because washing your hair strips it of oils. Especially when you use this store-bought crap that you buy when you don't know what the heck is in it. But this is the Dove Nourishing Rituals Cool Moisture Shampoo. It smells like cucumber and fresh and it's really nice and light for the summertime. I like Dove shampoo. Shampoo's like, I'm like, it's shampoo. I don't know. Just, it's gonna, as long as it doesn't strip your hair and Dove shampoo never strip your hair. Like it'll, you know, all shampoo kind of strips your hair of its oils and makes it feel really dry, but not Dove's. That was good. Check Dove out. We got more Neutrogena. This is another Holy Grail, which I probably have not shown an empties up in a long time because it takes a long time to go through these, especially because as I head into my 20s more, I'm trying to wean myself off of this stuff. But this is Neutrogena's clear pore mask thing that does not want to focus, just no matter what I do with it. There you go. Um, this is a benzoyl peroxide acne treatment. I started using this about six years ago when I was a junior in high school and I was so stressed and nothing was taking my acne away. So I started using this with a Conjac sponge and it cleared it up right away. Magical times, right? And I stopped using it like a year later and then I would break out again. I was like, oh crap, my skin's dependent on this. So I would use it again and I've been using it since then, um, but for the past few months I've slowly been weaning myself off of it and I'm looking pretty good, no makeup on right now. I have another one, I've repurchased it to take with me abroad because actually Europe does not allow you to buy benzoyl peroxide over the counter. <laughs> so uh, I have one with me. I will continue to use it. Blah, continue, blah, blah, blah. continue to use it like when I have really, for some reason, uncontrollable breakouts. It's great. I use it as like a thin layer of a mask and then I exfoliate it off, but you can do whatever you like. If you have really bad hormonal under the skin acne and you've tried everything else, give this a go. This I bought from Thrive Market because I needed to hit the capacity to have free shipping. You know, America, capitalism, that's a problem we have. Uh, I picked it pretty much because of the name. It's a South of France natural body care climbing wild rose hand wash. It was soap. I really don't know what else to say besides that soap is pivotal, especially in the world that we're living in now. And what else? I have another tube, ta -da, tub of Carmex. I go through these like tissue paper. Is it good for me? Probably not. Will I continue to buy them? Hell to the yes. And a slightly less bad for me lip balm, which took me forever to finish, was this Vaseline Lip Therapy Cocoa Butter for soft, glowing lips. Um, I love these Vaseline little lip butters in the tube. They they're thicker than Carmex, and they're less addictive than Carmex. This is much cheaper. This is like three times the price of this guy. So I love this guy. He's very expensive, but I will, I will continue to repurchase him. I have some that I do have repurchased, and these are really great. I like these. Even if they're bad for me, I will continue to buy them and use them. Last but not least, pretty pretty short of an empties video for me, I'd say. Um, as we know, I don't wear a ton of makeup. When I do, it's concealer, brows, and maybe a lip color, and that's about it. When I do wear makeup, though, uh, I, I am not on the micellar cleansing water trend. I tried. It hasn't it hasn't worked for me. I'm sorry, but I we all know I love Neutrogena. Like Neutrogena should just sponsor me. They really should. I'm a perfect candidate. Um, I love Neutrogena's makeup cleansing towelettes. I have the normal ones in the blue, but the night calming ones, which are these and the purple, are so phenomenal. I don't know what's. I really actually don't know what's in it that makes you feel calm when you take it off. <laughs> they say it's some sort of cleansing technology calming fragrance. Maybe it's simply just the fragrance. You know, I don't know what dehydroactic acid smells like that makes it smell so calming, but apparently it does. Um, it has a really calming scent that just makes you feel really ready for bed. And I think these are more moisturizing than the ones in the blue package. And yeah, I love them. Are they good for your skin? Apparently not. Apparently tugging at your skin, but I'm not removing eye makeup. I have never put eye makeup on in my life and I'm 22 years old. Um, yeah, I highly recommend these in the purple package. And that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this very arbitrary empties video. If you liked it or enjoyed my quirky eccentric personality, be sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button and I'll hopefully see you for a video much more exciting very, very soon. Bye.